Hey, what's happening? This is Marlon Wayans, and you are watching Black Tree TV, Soul of the South. You could have been watching White Bush TV, but instead you're watching Black Tree TV. I came up with that. This is Black Tree on TV, and I'm your host, Alex Hudgens. We are your number one source for urban entertainment. Find out why Marlon Wayans ain't afraid of no ghosts, or jokes, why Morgan Freeman ain't afraid of no technology, and how Janelle Monet went from Kansas City, Kansas to becoming an international star, and how super producer Will Packer and director Tim Story plan to take over the world with black movies. First, Marlon Wayans continues the family business with his spoof comedy sequel, A Haunted House 2. But why should he be concerned with PETA? He sat down with our Jamal Finkley to explain. I don't know about this place, baby. You said that about every house we looked at. This one's different. I, I just... No, this one is perfect. Come on, Shiloh Jr. It's like he's scared to come in the house. <laughs> So first, you know, Michael Vick is still catching flack from that dog stuff. I, I see another dog out there in this movie. You ever worry about Peter jumping on you or anything about... <laughs> you gonna hit me with the Vick? <laughs> no dogs or animals was harmed during the making of this movie. We actually put that, I think, at the end of the movie. It, it's a fake dog, man. I wouldn't want that to... And what's sad is I named that dog after my kid's dog. And their oh, kids man. named their dog after... Brad and Angelina Jolie's baby. I don't know why. They just love the name Shiloh. And they're like, it's so cute. And he has blue eyes like Shiloh. And I was like, okay. <laughs> where do you where do you pick? Because I know like you have Conjure and you, and you you put other ones in Haunted House. Where, where do you how do you pick which movies you're gonna kinda kinda spoof a little bit? They kinda pick you, man. It's like if we watch the same movie, you would get something completely different than I get. You know, we just have a sick, twisted mind, and the darkest moments we find light in. I don't, and I, it's not like I go out going, you gotta, it, I think if you go out going, you gotta do a scene, this popular scene from this movie, I think you're failing it. Ain't you that brother that just moved into old Burton Place? Yeah, and it's, it's with a white woman. Well, she's not all the way white. She's, she's a white woman, damn near clear. Come on now, it's 2013. Interracial relationships is not a big deal. What? Uh -uh. You need hey, to tell on. that to the lonely sister. Oh. Hey, look at this one right here, right here. Honey, show them how you drop it like that's it's hot. Woo! Ooh. Hold up, Bertha. That's hold up, hold up. We ain't got no defibrillator. Uh, I think that's my cue to go. Excuse me, sister. Uh, right. Have a good sermon. What, what is that? Where are okay. you going? Love is love. Love is love. You're so what? bitter. See? You're angry. Brothers be tripping. That's why I got me a white man at home. How in house you have this formula? You did $2.5 million budget for the first one. No, 1.7. I wish 1. I did have seven. I wish I did at 2.5. I could have yeah. really used those extra days <laughs> of shooting. We could have had lunch. If you're able to do and you're able to do it again, then that's the blessing. Money and box office, of course, you want that success. Yeah. Um, but just do it because you love it. I am so lying. Yeah, it feels good. Ha! In your face, haters. Ha! Ha! $67 million worldwide in your face. Mm. Can I get a tag before? In your face! Mm. Tag that in your <laughs> face! To no scrotum seven show! Marlon Wayans is a fool. Thanks, Jamal. That was hilarious. Or at least way funnier than technology taking over the world and all of mankind. Yep, that's the premise of transcendence. The path to building superintelligence requires us to unlock the most fundamental secrets of the universe. Intelligent machines will soon allow us to conquer our most intractable challenges. To develop new methods for the early detection of cancer. To build a better future for all of us. Simply put, to save lives. Once online, its analytical power will be greater than the collective intelligence of every person born in the history of the world. Professor? What did you do? Take out the course. Revolutionary independence from technology, Rift. 
They hit AI labs all over the country. You're determined to stop any attempt at what you call transcendence. We're looking at five weeks before the system shuts down. When I'm gone, keep moving forward. I won't let you go. We can upload his consciousness. We can save him. Not like this. If we missed anything, how will you know who you're dealing with? Well, my God, it's like my, my mind has been set free. I'm gonna need to expand. I need more power. Get me online. This is no well. Shut it down. Shut no it down. down. It's him. Where are you going? Everywhere. Your friend? They don't know the danger. If she connects to the internet, the first thing it'll do is copy it. Up. And then there is no taking it down. The real will die. Whatever it is, it's building an army out there. What is this? It's evolution. This isn't evolution. It's an abomination. What the hell's happening? I'm able to fix them. This has gone too far, Will. Stop it! I don't understand. This is the future. This is not our future. Emily! You're not here with me. Have you changed? Have you fallen out of love with me? No. Have you? If we don't stop him, it will be the end of mankind as well. Whatever we can discover, whatever we can, we can create that might enhance uh, human power of learning, power of doing, power of creation, is a good thing until you get there. Good evening, Donald Buchanan. It knows me. Of course it does. DMV records, social media. Pin, tell Agent Buchanan about yourself. I am Pin, a physically independent neural network invented by Dr. Will Castor. Can you prove that you are self-aware? That's a difficult question. Man, Morgan Freeman was not joking around. That was deep, very deep. Coming up, we catch up with Mary J. Blige to talk about Black Nativity, now on DVD. And we uncover super producer Will Packer and director Tim Story's master plan towards global black movie domination. Plus, find out how Janelle went from Kansas City, Kansas to R&B superstar to cover girl to Hollywood's new It Girl. And we hit the red carpet at the Rio 2 premiere in South Beach. It's all next on Black Tree on TV. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South. Welcome back to Black Tree on TV. I'm your girl, Alex Hudgens, and we are your number one source for urban entertainment. Now, there's no bigger urban entertainment icon than my girl, Mary J. Blige. She talks about some of her favorite collaborations with Jamal Finkley. Do you guys know the way to Harlem? Am I the cause of all my mother's misery? Did my very birth destroy my whole family? Cause child, it'll be alright I'll get you through this night and night This ain't living! Yo! I got a mouth to feed But I can't make these skins speak She's struggling. What kind of parents are you? Play the broken. So, Mary J, first Thank you for a great performance and for sharing your music with this film. It's always great to see you on, in this medium as well as listen to you. So Thank best you. of both worlds. Thank you. Um, when you look at Black Nativity, it's going to be one of those Christmas movies that people are going to watch over the holidays with their family. When you think back, is there any movie that you like to watch either then or now over the holidays that you could remember that was big for you over Christmas? I mean, what's big for me is Christmas cartoons. As a child, I watched Rudolph, I watched Baby New Year, you know, those you know, puppet cartoons. But as an adult and a teenager, it was a Christmas story, you know, mm -hmm. with the Ralphie and the BB gun and you shoot your eye out. Yeah, yeah. Because it was funny and it was light, but it was, you know, it was, it was still, it was Christmas, you know? Yeah. yeah what, what are some of your favorite collaborations? Number one on my list is The Method Man and Mary, You're All I Need. I said this to you yesterday. Yeah, yeah we just didn't have it on camera. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we wasn't on camera. Um, the Method Man and Mary, uh, You're All I Need to Get By. Uh, of course, um, the Jay-Z and Mary can't knock the hustle. So, so with those two great ones, who could we expect coming up? Like, who could be that next great duet that you haven't done yet that you're interested in working with? 
you know, I don't, I don't know yet. I don't know who that person is yet. <laughs> Like I said, Mary J. Blige is my girl. She's been doing her thing for years, dominating the charts and everything with her music. Now in other domination news, producer Will Packer, you've seen some of his movies, Think Like a Man, Obsession, Stomp the Yard. He's teamed up with director Tim Story and they plan to dominate the world with black movies. You see what they did with Ride Along, so watch out. Jamal Finkley sat down with the two power players to discuss their strategy. What's up, little man? What's up? Little man. What are you talking about? I'm not the little man, you are. Hey, don't start this if you don't want to finish it. Start what? What you about, 310, 311? Yeah, but you know what I'm going to do. Bro, what you going to do, stretch? I ain't telling you nothing. What you just did was spit on my lip. Yeah, I did. I just got you a little time in prison. Huh. Man, you're not a cop. I'm about to make a citizen's arrest. I make a citizen's arrest too. For what? Impersonating the officer. What? You what? said you were a cop. That's illegal. That is it, please. This is what I'm gonna do time for. You better give out your brother! Give me your brother! Stranger, danger! What? Stranger, danger! Stranger, danger! Man, let me fix you up. I don't wanna touch you then. You wanna see my what? I don't wanna see he's, yours. He's my playing. Says this that's, private. That's my nephew. First, great to see y'all reconnecting on another project, another franchise. How, how cool was it to have to put Kevin Hart and Ice Cube together on, on, on film? How was that? For me, it was a dream come true. I mean, yeah. you know, these guys together, you just knew they were just opposite ends of the spectrum and just coming together would be like just magic. So I'm, and that's the key with, yeah. the, with the buddy comedy, you know, having that chemistry, having that, that juxtaposition between two guys that you, you can't stop watching and you get, that's what you get with these two. What are your plans to kind of like start placing these movies or do y'all have plans to start getting these movies more of an international appeal? You know what, I think one of the things that, that Tim and I both talk about is making films that have universal appeal. And it just so happens that the two leads are, are African American. But, you know, the script has no color in it at all. And I think the way Tim directed the film was, was colorblind. So it's a universal story. It's about a guy, you know, and he's in love and he wants to propose and he's got to get the blessing of the brother. And, and a lot of people can relate to that. So I think that's something that we want to do is take this film out to international audiences. It's a big push uh, of ours and something that we want to do. And I think it starts with the content. Up next, Janelle Monet helps to bring Rio 2 to life with her music. And we meet the other creative forces behind the hot Rio 2 soundtrack. Then we hit the colorful and explosive Rio 2 red, no wait, blue carpet in South Beach. It's all coming up on Black Tree on TV. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South. Hey, welcome back to Black Tree on TV, your number one source for urban entertainment. She's quirky, energetic, and has a voice out of this world. So how did Janelle Monet go from Kansas City, Kansas to an international superstar? Our Sean Edwards finds out. We need something that can make us wiggle. Hit it! Something that make us jiggle. We need something that pops. You know what pop is, backwards? Pop. <laughs> I think incredible music, that's what made Rio so good. I'll be the first to say welcome back. He is my guapo. What is love if it's not with you? A lot of percussive elements, a lot of strings, just right. something that people can just dance to. Tell me you hear those drums, you know, something fantastic and magical is gonna happen. You guys are late, clock late, but musician early. So what's going on, guys? Hello. Got my hometown girl in the house, got a living legend in the house, but we're gonna do this proper because I gotta tell you this now. You're gonna get a kick out of this. I gotta tell you this story. All right, it was a while ago. I had, maybe I was like in the business for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So like, I needed to like, do something creative, someone to like this poetry slam at the Blue Room on 18th and Vine. Oh my God. So I'm at this poetry slam, checking out all these cool creative people do their thing, beautiful poetry, terrific wordplay. So a young lady comes over to the table and she's talking to him. She says, hey, aren't you that dude that's like on TV that does like the <laughs> movie thing? I'm like, yeah, what's going on? And then she proceeds to tell me, well, one day I'm gonna be famous too and you're gonna be interviewing me. 
Oh my God, did I tell you that? This was the young lady, yes, oh, in the blue room. Wow. Yeah, it's like about 2002, 2003. I can believe it, I'm yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. I'm gonna be famous one day and you will interview me. So it came true, because I'm interviewing you now. And that wow, was, that was, that's that was so crazy. Yeah, yeah, that definitely. was a time of transition for me. And I probably just moved to Atlanta too, like right after that. Yeah, you moved, Yeah, you were taking, you told me that too. You like, yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah, and I, I said <laughs> I wanted to start my career as an independent artist. And I lived in a boarding house with six other girls and I just sold my CDs out my house and just, you know, cultivated a fan base in Atlanta. I didn't care if I had 100 fans. I just wanted to do it on my own terms. So how'd you get started? Like, what was your, like, what was your big moment where you knew, like, like, like I'm gonna be a fantastic musician, I'm gonna make it work, and I'm gonna do my thing? When was that moment? When did it happen for you? You know, for me, it has been an incredible journey. Mm -hmm. So I feel very blessed and very lucky to still be working and to still be here with a young yeah. talent like Janelle, to be doing the music of Rio. But I started in Brazil. Started as a young kid, seven years old, mm -hmm. learning classical music, mm -hmm. and then start playing clubs in Rio. Nice. Uh, and this it was a wonderful time because it was like around the, talking about early 60s, the Bossa Nova, mm -hmm. and uh, it's great song. That music is incredible. So I came to the United States for the first time in 1962 and played at Carnegie Hall with Dizzy Gillespie, Stan Getz, <gasps> Joe Beam, and I was like, Wow. Oh God. Yeah, you see this guy, he, need, he needs his yeah, own, you need a movie, it's time. You need, you need to do your thing. Homegirl is mad cool. Love her and her music and of course her sense of fashion. Still ahead, we go into the studio with Janelle Monae and the other musical stars of Rio 2. And we'll take you to the Rio 2 premiere in South Beach. Don't miss it. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South. Welcome back. You're watching Black Tree on TV, your number one source for urban entertainment. Let's hit the studio and hang out with musicians that brought the Rio 2 soundtrack to life. We gonna scout the wildest, coolest talent in the jungle. It's our inspiration for this year's carnival show, Amazon Untamed. Next. What kind of song are you guys looking for? We need something that can make us wiggle. Something that make us jiggle. Okay. I think I might have the song just for you. All right, hit it. For a tropical adventure. What is love if it's not with you? I know when you're alone, you feel it too. In your arms is where I long to be. Cause being with you gives me sanity. Oh, listen to me, darling. I wake up every morning thinking about Oh, yeah, I got it. I'm good. Yo, this is untapped territory. I'm loving this sight. This is popping, it's popping in the Amazon. So what do you guys think? Boom, that's it. You in. Yes. You're awesome. Well, that means we will see you guys at Carnival. Wait, we didn't do a head count. Oh. Hey guys, wait up! They left without me. Again! That's Stop. Now, if you aren't in the mood to dance after that, then I don't know what to tell you. That was hot. Just like the Rio 2 red, actually blue carpet premiere in South Beach.
I like the movie because it, it appeals to those who want to protect the environment. And it lets the young people know we plant that seed now in them and we can save the trees and all of these things. And I believe in that. So for uh, Carlos, the director, to um, make me a part of it and ask me to come back was an honor to me. I was hoping we were going to make another one and then I and Carlos reached out and said we're going to go back, we're going to go back, we're going to do it. And this time we're going to the Amazon. And uh, it's the greatest group of people you could ever hope to work with. And I love my character and it was the easiest yes I've ever said. It's a very joyous and buoyant film. It's, it's filled with you know very touching moments and, and it also has for me uh, something that's you know that I think for all of us is very important is sort of like the thematic of, of you know environmental concern. Well, you know, the cast, I mean, the success of the movie, these kids, you know, man. It's just, a, it's just an amazing event, and this is beautiful. You get the kids come to Miami, went to Rio last time, so this is beautiful. A good sign is that everybody came back, and we added people, you know, Kirsten and uh, Andy. But, uh, you know, we've known each other a long time, you know, Jamie Foxx and myself and uh, Will, so, um, and Andy. That's it, another hot show. Thanks for watching. Once again, it's been a blast. I'm your girl, Alex Hudgens, and you've been watching Black Tree on TV. If you want more, you can subscribe to Black Tree on TV on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Lots of exclusives and other hot stuff. That's how we ball out.